Hello everybody, this is Coding with Ado and today we are going to do something different. Today we are going to connect Google uh, Geocoding, Google Maps Geocoding with Python. Um, in a future video we will do it the same with Node.js but, you know, it's pretty fun sometimes to do something different and also learn new languages. So let's get started. So the first thing first is we are going to need to create our main.py. Okay. And as Google Maps geocoding API requires a key, let's create our .n file. Let's add the Google Maps API key here. And that's perfect. And then let's uh, create our file. Before we start, um, Python needs to require two things here. So as always, you need to install the .m so you can run the Python install a uh, Python.m. So let me show you, you can install it globally so you don't have to do it again and again every single time. So if we do run all like this Python installment, you'll see that, you know, we already have it globally, so we don't need that. Same thing for the requests. So you will never need that again in the future in your in your login computer. Okay. So we're gonna import the requests and we're gonna import the .em. So it's OS from .em import load .em and Let's load the dot n. Let me remove the copilot. Perfect. Perfect. Now, what we need to do is let's create our function. Let's create our function. It's going to be called get geocode data. Okay. And here we'll have like an address. And what we will do in this function, we will first Remember that we first declare the variables. So let's declare the API key, which is gonna be the os.getend on Google Maps, whatever you put here. Okay. Let's do, let's validate that, you know, if not API key, then return Google Maps API key is not valid. Okay. Let's then add the parameters. So params are the address, which is going to be the address and the API key, which is the key, is the API key. We are also missing the URL. So I always like to declare the URL before, you know, so if there's a sandbox, it's easy for you to go back and get it. So right now it's HTTPS maps.googleipis.com slash maps slash API slash geocode slash JSON because right now we're going to work on JSON. Okay. So. Uh, now we have URLs, we have the parents, we are going to do the call. But first, remember always to have a try catch because there's a, bit, a lot of different errors that you could have, like for example, the request exception, you know, from our library of request exceptions. So you can see here request exception and we can return that like return if an error occurred and then the error. Okay. Let's also grab an except of the key error, which is if like the key is valid from Google. So let's do return enable to parse response yeah so let's 
a do the request. So the response of the request is going to be a request dot get of the URL and params params. As always, the response is a JSON, so we need to get the data. So it's data equals response response. Oh, sorry about that. Response dot JSON. Um, you know what? What we can do here also is we can raise an error, an exception for HTTP errors. So we can do response the raise for status. So basically, if there's like a 500 or a you know 404, 401 invalid keys, etc., this will actually give us the error. There we've got the exception here. Okay. So we are only gonna go ahead if the response is a 200 status HTTP, HTTP. So let's do this as a comment here. Raise an exception. Exception for HTTP headers. Okay, HTTP status errors, header, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So now we have data, well, let's return return the data. But the data is going to re return us an object. So we want only the results. It's a, yeah, it's an object and it has the results and then the result information. So after we have the function, it's perfect. Now we're going to call the function, so let's test it. So the address, let's do the address as always. Uh, let's do Mission Valley, San Diego, California. Okay. And let's uh, assign the data to a variable like geocode data equals to get geocode data. Yep, perfect, with the address. And let's print the CEO code data. Okay. So before we move on, we need to fill in our key. Okay. So let's grab the key here. So let me move this on. Perfect. So if you go to console.cloud.google.com, you'll be able to create an, a new app. Okay. Um, it's important for you to create a new app, you know, how we have here the, the apps and you have to set up billing and everything. So let's go to APIs and services. The first thing that you need to do is you need to enable the Google Maps geocoding. So you go there, you go to geocoding, geocode, Google Maps. JavaScript um, is this one, Maps API JavaScript, no, this is GeoCode API, yeah. Uh, convert other to the geographic location, perfect, that's what we need to do right now. Perfect. And we have an API key here. We copy that. We go to Google Maps platform. Let's do, uh, can we remove the restriction? Maybe later, perfect. It's really, really important for you guys to always, always, always restrict your API key because if you don't restrict your API key, you end up sharing your keys maybe with someone else and you'll get lots, uh, really, really big billings from Google Maps. And this is from experience. So always restrict your API keys. Don't worry, I'll remove my API key later after the video, but it's really, really important that you do, okay? So let's go back. So we have the API key, we put it here, and let's try this out. So, Python 3, 
main pi. Okay, I'm gonna run this. And we have there the information from Mission Valley San Diego. Okay, if you wanna actually look at this really, really nicer and do your parsing and everything, I'm, there's a really good website. It's called JSON Lint. I'm gonna share it with you here, which you can put there your JSON and to just put in a nicer way, okay? So you have the address components, you know, you have the neighborhood, locality, administrative areas, country, you have here the bounds, you have the specific location, you know, the place ID and everything. So, and the formal address, this is really, really helpful sometimes for, like for example, writing letter, letters and everything. So all this information is pretty, really fun and interesting. Okay, awesome. So yeah, that's it for now. That's how you connect Python to Google Maps geocoding. I hope that this is really interesting for you. Uh, you can go and check this code on my GitHub account, which the link is down below. And have fun coding and see you on the next video. Bye bye.